Texas. And uh, <laughs> so uh, this inside source uh, suggested that she go and, and submit it. And she did, and it was accepted, and now it's been a year, and steadily increasing sales. And she's also gone through like changes in the last year, um, changing the bottles from plastic to glass, um, and changing the labels, and changing actually the formulation too, because she had a lot of people coming to her with their, you know, feedback um, about maybe it um, being, for a lot of people it was, um, they were sensitive to it because of the high, um, higher baking soda content. So she's actually reduced that over the last um, year. So the new formulation has a pH of about 5.5. And so it's not overly drying on the skin and it, um, it jives with the body's chemistry nicely for the most part. So, And also she's kept, um, a lot of people would suggest to her to up the essential oil content, but um, she's avoided doing that because of, of sensitivities. So it's gentle enough for everyone to use. Uh, you can use it on your feet, you can use it wherever too. So <laughs> and um, she's been quite busy the last um, year with the increasing uh, demand, but it's been going very well. And she's, um, I mean, we have three kids at home and we also look after um, Denise's mom who has uh, late stage dementia. So she's in our home with us. So um, that's been busy, it's, but it's been really exciting and really worth it. And it's um, right now um, community carries uh, this size here, which is the two ounce. Um, other locations and online, and also um, via special order, people can order the, the four ounce size as well. And the biggest thing that we're proud of with this deodorant is that it works really well. Um, it can be used by everybody. And the ingredients are all ingredients that we can be completely happy with. There's nothing in there that we do not 100% stand behind. So that's our, yeah, our biggest thing that we can be proud of. And I've got some F FAQs here um, that I could pass around. Um, just some things that have come up over the course of the last year. Um, a lot of people wanted to know sometimes um, if it was okay to use the deodorant while pregnant or breastfeeding. And if you're, like if pregnant or breastfeeding women are terribly concerned about the essential oil content. Like I said, it's not a huge component of the deodorant, but there are several SKUs um, that only have um, organic flavor oils in them, sourced from a place called Nature's Flavors in the States. Um, and those are the uh, pumpkin chai, naked coconut, uh, pina colada, vanilla chai, chocolate banana, and blueberry lemon. So those, a lot of the flavors community do, doesn't carry, but they can all be special ordered. So, yeah. Um, and that's our story. <laughs> okay, so we're finished a little bit early. So I thought that if anyone had a question for any of the local suppliers about anything, you know, raw material sourcing, marketing challenges, they're all here to answer questions. We also have one, two, three category managers in the room. If you have questions about, you know, why we do and don't carry certain local products. Uh, so if, if you, I just thought if you wanted to have a round table dialogue, we're more than welcome to do that. We're finished early. And how I just want to end this is just saying like your decisions make a difference. Your personal decisions on what you consume makes a difference in this world. Your decisions on what you recommend to a customer can change the trajectory of their life. You can recommend a product that could impact their life, you know, whether it's a supplement that could change their health fundamentally, someone they love, or whether it's, you know, a quality product that they can be proud of using. You know, I've had suppliers come to me, you know, just with a conception of a product. And, you know, we've worked through
through the logistics of what is a UPC, how to, what's AP compliant, a variety of other things. And it's, it's very rewarding to be able to support someone in bringing a product to market. It's very rewarding to hear someone say, like, I was able to send my kids to the university because community has supported my business for so many years. And that's not, that's not me. That's people who are recommending it. That's people who are trying it. That's people who are saying, like, wow, Rubby works for me. You know, so if you want to support local companies, buy the product. If you want the businesses to, you know, thrive and flourish, recommend those companies. If you want us to carry more local, support more local. When we look at some of the data, like the scan back data from some of our local suppliers, they are not in our top five. And I want them to be in my top five because they deserve to be in my top five. Uh, you know, every time I've done community college with Lisa, it has inspired me. I mean, I get to work with great local suppliers like everyone here, but it is a small percentage of what I get to do, which is why I'm so passionate for the local. Lisa gets to go to, you know, how you get to go to Daryl Winter's place every year. Like, you're probably going in the next couple of weeks, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, what gets Lisa out of bed in the morning is being able to source raw materials that she can put in our phthalates, our commissary products that she can feel good about and we can all feel good about drinking. So that's my soapbox speed. So if anyone has any questions for Ron, Melissa, Lisa, Sandra, mm -hmm. any of our great suppliers, oh, oh please. Thing, and I'll just say it too, that uh, Jennifer, my wife, and I were down to the Maple Leaf for the wedding for the Christmas party and I just made her the tube of chairs for here. They were all wonderful. They just were so self satisfied. And you haven't tried that yet. Yeah, it is a tax on date, and then right underneath, it says shelf life of 12 plus months. So yeah, that's what happened when we did the new labels. We considered all those things and sort of revamped them. So yeah. Obviously, that means so you're not using a chemical extraction. So, mm -hmm. what is physical separation? Is it like steam distillation, or is it like shaking, or what? What is it? Okay. So all of the the, the steam distillation, the extraction, physical extraction, the digital dissolving, um, the go through all of this. Actually, we use everything that is possible from uh, that stage from go to the actually uh, fit the, the fluids, you know, the, the everything that works for our skin health. We, we assess everything, every bit of, of the uh, drainage from those tubes, then we make it in our uh, products. Any other comments or questions? Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>